Hello guys and welcome to Medis Texical. In today's video I want to show you how you can install the One UI 3 beta on your Galaxy Note 10 Plus. So the first thing is uh, the One UI 3 beta was released in South Korea and the UK. And if you have the Exynos version of the Note 10 Plus, the N975F, so this is just for this specific model, the Note 10 Plus, the Exynos model, you can install this update really easily. You have to know that if you install it that way, you won't get any over the air updates. If you want to get the newest beta, you will need to head out to XDA and wait till in the UK or South Korea, the newest beta is released and someone puts up the link. So in this video, I want to show you how to install it pretty easily on your Galaxy Note 10 Plus. So let's get started. The first thing you will need to do is to download the firmware file. I will put down the link in the video description where to download it. So you will have here a file name. Okay, so you will have the link over there in this post. All right. Um, and yeah, you just hit the link, install it. All right, here's the link. And also on Google Drive, you will find the link. And if you have installed it, you will find this a uh, firmware file under uh, downloads in your um, file explorer and here you will see it will be a 2.05 gigs file all right with this point bin um yeah like ending and in this video i want to show you the easiest method method you can also install it over adb with your pc but in this video i want to show you how to install it with an sd card over recovery so this is pretty easy so if you want to do this with or over the sd card you will need just to rename the file you can could rename rename it over the um the file extra on your phone but the safest way is to just connect your phone over a USB cable, use a good USB cable for fast data transfer. You will search the file under phone, your internal storage, and then the download folder. You will copy it, all right? You just copy it. Then you go, um, I don't know, like let's just copy it to your desktop. I will put up a new, um, a new folder. Let's call it one UI free beta. All right, so let's go into this folder, you enter it, and then let the copy process uh, take over. All right, and after you have copied the firmware file um, to your PC, like to your desktop, or I don't know, to any drive you want, you will click, do a right click, then under um, the, the part here, where it says, I think, properties or something like this. This is in German, so I'm sorry. But you go there and then you will see the the, the ending or which uh, kind of um, file this is. It's a point or dot bin file. You will need to change it to update dot zip. All right, you, you change that. Click OK, then you, Windows will give you a warning that changing the, the, the type of data, um, the file type will could have or make errors. You just hit OK. And now you see it's just called update. You go under there and you will see OK. This is fine. And you click F2. And also just to be sure, you can then make point zip. All right. So that way the recovery will, um, yeah, will re recognize this file. So after you have done this, you just copy it again in the rename manner. All right, just hit copy. You go to your PC, you search or look up for your phone. Then you go to your SD card. You can make a new, um, new folder as well. I will also call it just one UI free. Make sure your phone is unlocked during this process because when it's locked, you can't copy anything on the SD card. Then you just put in the file there. 
All right, and as you can see, the file is uh, ready to go. It's copied now on my SD card. So basically, now you can shut off your PC or just put it yeah, away. Now everything will uh, yeah, just take place on your Galaxy Note 10 Plus. And before we start flashing this, this um, I need to remind you or uh, say just some quick um, important things. You need to be on this firmware. So this is just for the DTJ4 or DTJ4 and DTJ2 firmware. So you can just update on the One UI 3 beta if you have this firmware installed on your Galaxy Note 10 Plus. The second thing is you need to know that your banking apps, so things like Google Pay um, and other payment apps, etc., are not working on the beta because the beta firmware um, is not certified by Google yet. So just the official firmware will be. So you will just that, so that you know um, that such things like Google Pay and so on are not working. Second thing is um, be sure that when you have installed your um, the, the file I, I showed you and renamed it and copied it back to your SD card that you head over in your file explorer you go under SD card, search up the folder where you have um, put the, the file in there. So mine is One UI 3. You copy. Oh, and you see I, I have an error here. This would result in an error. So I just need to rename it. And we have a double zip in the name. So it just needs to have point zip one times. And the zip file needs to be copied, not into a folder on the SD card, simply here in the root directory. So not in any folder, just on the SD card, all right? So you just, uh, or not copy, you just move it. Um, we don't need two files um, on the SD card. So where was my, my folder? Mm, there it is. You just move it, all right? Move it onto the root directory. Basically, that's it. Make sure so that you um, that you make maybe a backup of your WhatsApp chat, you never know, all right? And basically, that's it. So now we are ready to install One UI 3 on our Note 10 Plus. Oh, and before I forgot it, it's not for the 5G variant at all. It's just for the 4G Note 10 Plus N975F, all right? So let's start. The first thing you will do is you will power off your device. So yeah, after your Note 10 Plus turned or is turned off completely, you we will need to boot up in the system recovery menu. So this is pretty simple. You will just hold down the power button plus volume up at the same time. So power button and volume up simultaneously until you see the Note 10 Plus uh, logo appear. You feel it vibrate, hold on a little bit and then let go, all right? Just some seconds, not the need to hold down till the phone boots up. And here we go, this is the recovery menu. So you will see a menu right there. So I will change the lighting a bit so you can read it out better. We will see different options. The the yeah the way you navigate through these uh, options is with your volume keys. All right. So you will go down by clicking volume down. You go up by clicking volume up, and you will see an option called apply update from SD card. To enter in this option, you will hit the power button, all right? So we hit it once, all right? Here you will see all your files on your um, SD card. So now we need to look for the file called update.zip and there it is, all right? You see it? You confirm this by, again, hitting the power button. We hit that. And down there, you will see things like finding update package, opening update package, verifying update package. So now it will basically uh, unpack the firmware file and install it on your Note 10 Plus. So 
if we have done everything right, this should take, I guess, around five minutes or so. And you will see your phone reboot, install the update like a normal update, because I mean, this is from Samsung. It won't trip Knox or something like this. This is just an official update pulled from the update server and you can install it on your Note 10 Plus. So you see, okay, installing update, update engine version, and it will show you, okay, which update we have, DTJ5, and it will upgrade now to ZTK6, which is One UI 3. I will leave that um, to run in the foreground so you guys can see how it should look, all right? So it will do bunch of things in the background, scanning system partition, patching system image after ver verification. So as I said, it's normal. Just take your time. Don't worry also after this year is finished and it will install the update or the Note 10 Plus boot screen uh, screen will just stick longer than usual. This is normal after such big updates, all right? <clears throat> So let's wait. If you want, you can fast forward into the video. But you see, this takes some time. I mean, this is a two gig huge update, not a small update. And it needs to unpack everything, every file, and yeah, just to install it. So I may pause the video and come back if something changes. So as you can see, um, we got some changes here in the process. Now it added um, patching like image after verification. Oh yeah, it, now it's doing many, many things. Oh, and it, is, it says install from SD card complete. So it roughly took, yeah, seven minutes so this process will take its time, but uh, I guess it will be worth it. So I have read that the first beta is running really smooth, so that the Note 10 Plus will get uh, yeah really smoother than with One UI 2.5. So this is something I'm looking forward to, of course, and I bet you are too. And of course, we are getting some new UI changes and. I mean, yeah, it's nice. So I'm living in Germany. I have a German unlocked Note 10 Plus. Maybe next week the beta will also come to Germany. Who knows? If yes, I might flash back to um, Android 10 and register um, officially to the beta program. So to get over the air updates when a new beta is pushed. But who knows? Maybe it isn't coming to Germany, the beta. So also for you, if you are not in the UK or the, you didn't get uh, a free slot, this will be the only way you can already test out One UI 3. And yeah, it's a real simple process. Now, this is the thing I said where you have not to worry about. So it can take, like you have seen right now, take a minute or so and that you see just um, the screen saying Galaxy Note 10 Plus. So this is normal. Also, this could take around a minute or so. So just let your phone sit down and drink a coffee, then come back and you should yeah, be good to go. All right. And it's even faster than I thought. Now it says, of course, in German uh, that the smartphone is being updated and it optimizes app number 15 from 529 so this is the same process like after every over the R update even after security patches it's basically the same um, so remember this is the official firmware you install someone pulled the link from the firmware server and you are just installing it manually on your Note 10 plus again it's not for the Note 10 plus 5g it's not for the Note 10 plus Snapdragon variant and it's just for the Note 10 Plus 4G 
Exynos variant, okay? Also not for the smaller Note 10, just for the Note 10 Plus at the moment. For you guys uh, from the US, you might soon get also a beta where you can register and if the slots are um, gone there, you will maybe also have someone who will um, post the link. So also thanks to the member on XDA who got actually the link for us to install this this um, OS update. And yeah, I will pause the video and come back when it's installed. And voila guys, there we go. We have now officially, or yeah, not really officially, but we have installed the One UI 3 beta on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. As you can see, we have there the completely new uh, lock screen with this new lock icon over there. Uh, so I will unlock my phone and just show you to confirm so you can see we have also this completely new design here for the number pad. So this looks really, really good in my opinion. Wow, amazing. Okay. Yeah. So now it will say Android, Android is booting up. Yeah, it's loading the home screen, etc. Okay, there we go. You can see in the background, it's still doing the software update, but here we go. You can see we have the new beautiful notification panel. This looks amazing, this blur effect, wow. Wow, I'm amazed. This looks really good. This looks amazing. So I will go into the settings, scroll down under the phone information. I will confirm that we are running One UI 3 with Android 11. There we go, guys. This is it. So there we go, guys. This is Android 11. Wow, and I can confirm right away these animation here are hella smooth. Damn. Oh yeah. This is this feels so much better in my opinion. Wow. Okay. This is really good. So yeah, this is one UI free on your Galaxy Note 10 Plus. So if you like this video, please consider subscribing, leave a like. And I will, of course, do videos about One UI 3. See you soon. Bye.